At Mission Control in Pasadena, California, they watched the last seconds of radio signal from Cassini. Project manager on FSO cord. Maybe a trickle of telemetry left, but just heard the signal from the spacecraft is gone, and within the next 45 seconds, so will be the spacecraft. Uh, I hope you're all as deeply proud of this amazing accomplishment. Congratulations to you all. This has been an incredible mission, an incredible spacecraft, and you're all an incredible team. I'm going to call this the end of mission. Project manager off the net. This team has watched Cassini travel 7.9 billion kilometers since its Five, launch in 1997. Four, three, two, one, and liftoff of the Cassini. It took Cassini seven years to reach Saturn. As it settled into orbit around the ringed planet, Cassini launched the Huygens lander onto the surface of Titan, Saturn's biggest moon. Over 13 years, the mission has sent back spectacular images from the other side of the solar system. Covered in snow and ice, this is Enceladus, another of Saturn's moons. It has powerful ice-blasting geysers. Under here, scientists believe there's water, and so a chance to look for traces of life. And on Titan, Cassini revealed a climate similar to primordial Earth. It's why Cassini can't land on Saturn. It may still carry microbes from Earth that could affect an alien ecosystem. Because of the importance of Enceladus that Cassini has shown us, and of Titan, another potential world that could be habitable for life, perhaps not like we know it, but perhaps completely different than ours, we had to make decisions on how to dispose of the spacecraft. And that led us inevitably to the plan of taking Cassini and plunging it into Saturn. Cassini's final mission was 22 dives between Saturn's rings and surface. Then it flew into the planet's burning atmosphere. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera.